Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Pizza coming along with one of my favorite videos of the entire year. It's gonna be the top 10 tips, tricks, and glitches in Madden 18. There were a lot of these that took a lot of time and effort to figure out, so I'm only asking one thing. If there is just one tip, trick, or glitch you guys haven't seen before or find very helpful, please drop a like for me. If we can hit 5,000 likes on this video, I might cry. It was either that or tie myself to a pair of railroad tracks. But, um, I hope you guys all enjoy. If you have any tips, glitches, or tricks of your own, let me know down in the comments. I'd definitely like to see that. Without further ado, let's get it started with number 10. We're starting it off with the pizza fade glitch. Now, this gotta be one of my favorite plays, if not the favorite play that I've ever been a part of coming up with. If you guys pay attention and see what the heck's going on, you'll really understand how crazy that this play is, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Do not worry. Now, if you did not see what the heck happened, just pay attention here to this replay. We have a running back. There's gonna be a team play guy with you. He's going to block the corner. You guys can do this. You can block cornerbacks and throw up fades in the end zone, which leaves your wide receivers wide open. I'm going to show you one more time. We have a second guy on the running back. He goes and blocks and Mike Evans is just wide open the back of the end zone. This got to be one of the best glitches that you can do in the game. And the great thing about it is, is that in team play, I'm pretty sure that offensive pass interference is not a thing. Those penalties really don't get called at all. So you're not going to get caught with that. Like I said, you put the guy on the running back, you block the running back, you put a fade route on your best receiver, you hike the ball, you run over there, you throw it to him, it's money, it's insane. You guys gotta try it. No, it's not exactly a money play. I don't wanna call it a money play because it definitely doesn't work every time and it takes a lot of practice to do, but if you get this down, it's definitely one of the most unique ways to score. Moving on to number nine now. This one's for all of you solo challenge guys and for anybody looking for an easy way to complete some of the more difficult levels, just pay attention to this one. Now there's many ways to get through different solo challenges with different tricks, but I find this one to be the best. This one specifically for the ones where you have to hold your opponent to as few yards as possible. We're actually in the veteran solo challenge where we have to get over 150 yards passing, 75 yards rushing, and hold our opponents under 100 total yards for the entire game. So the first thing you're going to do is drive downfield and score a touchdown because you got to win the game. Just make sure you don't have your punter and a kicker when you're kicking the extra points. Yep. Now where was I? Uh, oh yeah, I'm on to the more difficult part of the challenge. After scoring a touchdown or a field goal, what you're going to want to do is come out in an onside kick. If they get the ball around the 50 yards, line that's going to limit their yard that they can get in half but that's not all this is the biggest part of this trick that you guys can do keep going offside and getting five yard penalties all the way down to about the 10 yard line or so where you're able to play defense now i know this is a little bit time consuming and stuff but trust me it's a lot quicker than have to do these solo challenges over and over and over again yeah just make sure you do a better job than me of stopping whenever they get down there Moving on to number three already, huh? Now, this is one that I thought was very obvious, but I swear to you, every time that I get into a game, my opponent fails to do this on me. That's why I have to add this one to the list. So what you guys just seen was our opponent ran into the kicker, which is going to move the kickoff up whenever we're about to do the kickoff to give him the ball back. Now, pay attention to what you're supposed to do. You're doing a sky kick. Look at the power meter. Now, you want to do it the furthest that you possibly can without getting the ball into the end zone or put it on the edge of the end zone where they really can't call a fair catch. Because the kickoff is a sky kick, we're going to get down there way quicker, and there's no chance at all of them making it to the 25 where they would call for a fair catch at. I've done this many times before and stopped them on the 10 to 15 yard line, so you're saving yourself a ton of yards here. Once again, we have the kickoff. He runs into the kicker. What are we going to do? The sky kick. Please, guys, do not kick the ball in the back of the end zone. That's doing you no good. Take a chance here. You might be able to force a fumble or something like that. You know what power to do. You kick it off. Beautiful. It's on the five-yard line. This guy thinks he's going to get a nice return, but little does he know that our guys are downfield a lot quicker, and ba-bang. This next one's just a little tip that many of you guys probably know. Some probably finding out the hard way, like myself. I lost a freaking Ryan Chazier car because of it. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Okay, so look, whenever you do a trade in Madden 18, if you get a card from another person, you are not able to auction it. If you decide to do a big trade with a random person, you're going to be losing out on a ton of coins because the card that you're getting, you can't put them on the auction. Do I think it's stupid? Yes, absolutely. But what are we going to do about it? The good news is, though, if you trade with your friends for, say, Mutt Squads, whenever the games are over, if you want your card back, you can get them back and then you can auction them. But otherwise, besides that, the trade block's a joke and your boy might have just saved you a couple hundred thousand coins. So you can thank me now. I'll next it's a big one my buddy showed me how to do this and i think it's finally time to show you yes there is a punt block glitch kind of in madden 18 and i think you guys should definitely know about it because it does work here and there especially if you're able to master this you guys just seen i pulled it off in game now i'm gonna show you how to do it in practice now if you can probably tell there are a few stipulations with how this punt block glitch works number one they're gonna have to be inside the five yard line yeah i know i'm sorry but if they are you better believe that you're running this so what you gotta do is go to the field goal block i know it's kind of risky but just stick with 
with me. From here, you go into your substitutions and fit in your quickest guy on the outside edge. He's going to be the guy that comes in for the block. Patrick Peterson is perfect for this scenario. Whenever the football is hiked, pay attention. You let the computer take the first step, and then from there, you run in with the left stick only. You should use the speed boost, but do not use it off the bat because you just run straight. If you master this, I say you could probably get a block about 50 or 60% of the time, which can completely turn a game around. Like I said, though, it's not automatic. It definitely involves a lot of practicing, and you have to get it down. You got to put the work in to be able to get this thing off. But yeah, this is the pump block glitch. Have fun making somebody want to kill themselves. This next one's going to make it super difficult for people to do quarterback sneaks on you. I'm sure that we've all gotten into games before where people are running all over us with their quarterbacks. Now, with this one simple little trick right here, it's going to make it very, very tough for them. Whenever a quarterback is rolling out and you're in coverage, click in the right stick. It will bring the nearest defender down to the quarterback so he's not able to get a ton of yards on you. This is actually something that's been in Madden for a while, but I am so sure that there is a ton of you guys that have never seen or heard of this before. And trust me, in this game, it probably helps out more than I have ever seen it. Like, this is by far one of the most effective ways to stop the quarterback run and one of the best tips I think that I could give you guys. Make sure that you start practicing this and equip it into your game plans. That one's pretty effective, but this one's for you connected franchise people. I'm trying to do my best of getting a wide variety of tips and tricks because I know that there's so many different types of Madden players out there. This little player retirement glitch is super helpful, especially for you guys that do the connected franchise by yourself and you want to keep a goat like this guy on your team. If you notice, Larry Fitzgerald is 34 years old and he ends up retiring after the first season automatically every single time in connected franchise. But what if I told you there was a little trick that you could do to keep him on your team practically forever? What you want to do is go to edit player and edit his age to whatever you want. I'm going to put 20 years old so we can have him on our team for the longest duration possible. After that, just back out, save, and continue your season. Larry Fitzgerald is going to be on your team for a very long time. Not to mention it's going to skyrocket his trade value as well. Look at that. There we go. Larry Fitzgerald didn't retire and he's playing for the 2018 season. Now, just let me make him a little younger. Speaking of younger, I'll tell you who's not getting younger. It's these kickers. This is a pretty neat tip that I accidentally ran into whenever we were playing in game. What I'm about to show you is pretty simple, and it's going to make your opponent so they're not able to call timeouts to stop the clock or ice the kicker. Here's what you do. At the end of the half or the end of the game, you come out in the field goal play. Make sure you kick the field goal as quickly as possible, not allowing your opponent enough time to call a timeout to either ice the kicker or stop the clock if he hasn't done that already. Whenever the bar comes down, hold in the A button. It's going to allow all the rest of the clock to run out up until 3 seconds seconds where it will automatically kick the field goal for you and as long as the power and accuracy are right it's going to go through the uprights and you're going to waste all the time of your opponent so you don't have enough time to go down and score it's money it really is and i'm surprised on how effective and how much i've actually already used this one just try it out for yourself you won't be sorry oh man this next one is sick and trust me you're going to want to take advantage of this if you haven't already if anybody doesn't know twitch and ea are partnering up together to give you guys a couple extra really sick cards let me show you the first set of cards and then i'm going to show you guys what to do trust me you're going to want to pay attention to this so in the first pack that you're going to open you're going to get four upgrade tokens and then one player which in week one it's going to be this 85 overall reggie white now what you can do with the upgrade tokens is upgrade the reggie white to a 90 overall but here's where people are kind of messing up i believe that there's a new player released almost every week but you only have the four tokens to use on these players although rumor does have it that every five weeks you're going to get four more tokens all that i'm trying to tell you is just make sure that you use the four tokens on the player that you like the most i'm telling you i think just about every single person already wasted on this reggie white so the other cards that come out they're gonna have to wait a while for. Now, on how to do it. Number one, you're going to have to have an Amazon Prime account. Just a little tip, if you make a new account, you're going to get a free 30-day trial, so you really won't be paying anything at all, as long as you remember to cancel it. After that, you're either going to log into your Twitch account or create a new account, which is going to give you Twitch Prime. Finally, after all that's good to go, you're going to link your EA account with your Twitch Prime account. As soon as that connection happens, then you're going to get your free cards. And if you are confused, the links to these specific sites will be down in the description below. It should help you out a lot. But yeah, this is legit. These are free 85 to 90 the overall players, which is hundreds of thousands of coins in this game. Last but not least, at number 10, we have the coaching adjustments. This is something that I feel like a lot of people just took with a grain of salt and completely forgot about this. This is a huge feature that EA has brought back into this game, and if you master this, it's going to make your game so much easier to dominate your opponents with. You get here by going down towards the bottom of the main play calling menu. For offense, what you're going to see is four different adjustments that you can make. The first one is going to be the ball carrier. You want to play conservative, which means you're not going to have a risk of fumbling the football, but you you might not get them big runs or do you want to go aggressive you know you need them big plays to happen for blocking the same thing conservative or aggressive you're going to have these for all four of these different adjustments and in the right scenarios if you pull these off it's going to help your team tremendously especially if the team that you're versing doesn't do this for this scenario being the fourth quarter and down by a touchdown i decided to go aggressive for both the ball carrier and for blocking you can tell that the players are playing a lot more tough in this gameplay but like i said you're going to risk fumbling the football and you're going to risk getting penalties which are going to set you back as 
well. So it's kind of a trade-off you got to take a risk for. Right here, it's a perfect example. If you know your stuff where your opponent doesn't about these coaching suggestions, he's going to be at a serious disadvantage. Down by a touchdown, needing to score on third down and goal. We go on aggressive, and that helps us get that push over the offensive line, and we scored a touchdown there. You guys just seen how good it was on offense. Now on defense, it's probably even better. There's a huge menu here. Starting off with the auto flip. If you don't want your plays flipped whenever you automatic home, just turn them off from this menu. You don't have to press the pause button anymore, but there's a ton of different things. There's tackling. What do you want to go for? You know, you want to be more conservative towards the end of the game, or are you losing and need to force a fumble, get a big hit stick? You turn that on, and that's going to help your players perform the way that you want them to. Now, the big one, the cornerback matchups. This is huge in this game. If you go in here, you can make sure your number one corner is matched up on their number one receiver, or filter it by speed, so your fastest guy will be on their fastest guy. And another cool thing you can do is match it up by depth charts. If you go into your opponent's depth chart and see where his wide receivers are and set your depth chart up equally, then those guys at the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spots will be versing the same guys in that area. And that will be it. I hope you guys all did enjoy my top 10 tips, glitches, and tricks in Madden 18. Like I said, if there was just one thing that you've never seen or heard before, if you wouldn't mind dropping a like on it to support this video, it would mean a ton. Also, if you're brand new, please subscribe. I'm a little desperate. As always, though, I'm your boy Pizza, bringing you guys the latest and the greatest in Madden 18. And until next time, don't forget to keep God number one. Peace out, guys. Deuces. Yesterday, I stole my neighbor's car keys. I keep hitting the alarm button. It's driving him crazy. I am such a bad person.